Hi, this is Tammy Steinbeck. Usually I make videos having to do with different photography software. Today I'm going to try something a little bit different. Um, when I, I've got a, a Mac, and when I first um, switched over to Mavericks, you know, a year ago or whatever, I started to have some connectivity issues with uh, Wi-Fi. But I lived with it for the, the year. I tried a whole bunch of different solutions. Um, nothing really worked. Um, it became kind of frustrating. The Wi-Fi would continually drop out. Um, not necessarily while I was using it, but especially when the computer went to sleep. It just became a kind of a pain. Um, I also had a lot of things that happened in the background, like um, online backup, and that wouldn't get done either because the Wi-Fi would become disconnected. I was hoping, without hope, that um, when I uploaded to Yosemite last week, that the that would just fix it. I was, I don't know why I thought that that would help, but... I certainly felt like they probably had addressed it and it would be in there somewhere. Um, alas, it was not. So I um, did some digging and found out that many, many, many other people have similar issues. Um, I looked over at the Apple support communities and did a bunch of different things that people recommended. But I did stumble across one that for me, knock on wood, has been working. Um, it's been working now for quite a few days here. I have not had any problem at all with my Wi-Fi kicking, um, kicking me out. So I wanted to share that solution with you. I can't guarantee you that it will work for you. It may not, but it might. So um, let me just give you a quick um, overview of what you need to do. The first thing you need to, need to do for this solution is go into uh, your um, network preferences. You can get to there three different ways. You can go down to your dock or wherever your dock is and click on System Preferences. You can go up to the Apple, the top left corner, and click on System Preferences. Or you can go over to where your Wi-Fi uh, logo is at the top of your screen and go down to Open Network Preferences. I'll go that route just to make it easy. The next step, all you need to do is make sure that your Wi-Fi is highlighted in blue. Go down to this cog. Uh, note, I'm not going to actually do these changes since I've already done them, but I will walk you through each step. So highlight Wi-Fi, select this cog, you get a little drop down menu, go to make service inactive. Once you do that, the apply button will be, you'll be able to press it, press it. Note, you're going to lose your Wi-Fi for a moment. So um, please make sure to watch this entire video before you go and, uh, and click that button. So once you've Click uh, Make Service Inactive in the COG. You need to go back over on the left-hand side, highlight Wi-Fi, and hit the minus button, and then hit Apply. And then you'll need to reboot your machine. So then what you need to do is go over to the bottom corner here where you have the plus. Click on plus. You're going to get a drop-down menu. For interface, click that and select Wi-Fi. Then in service name, call it pretty much whatever you want, but I would call it, I'd put Wi-Fi in the name. Just make sure it's not just the Wi-Fi that's selected here. I called mine Wi-Fi 2. So change your service name to Wi-Fi and you know whatever you want to end the, the word, 2 is fine. Click Create. Go back and hit apply, uh, yeah, click apply again, and you should be good to go. You may need to um, set, you know, re sign on into the, the network and stuff to get it um, recognized. But once you do that, um, if you have the same luck that I've had so far, you will stay connected to the internet. I don't know why this works. I can only tell you that it, it did for me, and I hope it does for you. So, um, you know, leave comments if you'd like to uh, let me know if it worked or not. Um, I really hope that it works for you. Thanks so much.